Hello everybody, my name's Hunter and in today's episode of Diamond Dynasty, I'm going to show you how to make stubs, alright? Obviously, I bought, the first, I bought the standard edition. As you see, I only have 792 stubs, only level 6. I have absolutely no packs, alright? I just opened the only packs that it gave me as one choice of gold and the regular basic stuff that it gives me. But as you see, I only have one gold in the outfielder in Jordan Alvarez and a closer, Ryan Presley. They're both golds, okay? They're worth not that much, but they're worth something, okay? So you want to see how to make stubs? You want to get rid of them immediately. You could play with them with your friends, your buddies and stuff, but I mean, for a few times, have some fun with them in the beginning. But if you want to actually make subs and not spend a single penny on the game, not a single one, you want to sell the great, the good cards that you have. So for example, we're going to go to the marketplace right now and we're going to go put in, let's say, let's type it in. Put Alvar, Jordan, Jordan. All right, there you should pop up. All right. I just see he's worth a lot. I mean, this guy's worth a lot right now. 2,800, 2,800, uh, not 800, 185 stubs. All right, I'm going to put him up. I know there's a guy over there putting it up for that much. I should probably sell it for that much, right? Oh, my gosh. My bad. Well, let me go back. Uh, let me go back to it. Excuse me. It's a quick mistake. All right. Okay, you see that he's up there. Okay, he's selling. I'm going to create a sell order okay I'm gonna put them for 200 and 2186 stubs I'm gonna lowball this guy and I'm gonna get 1967 stubs all right he should sell soon all right and then I also had the other guy Ryan Presley we're also gonna get rid of him I have not used both of them as this is the first episode of this Diamond Dynasty series but I'm gonna get rid of them because I want to make stubs and I want to show you guys how to make stubs all right look at that 2000 stubs as well I mean He's not gonna, you know, you know, the ten percent's gonna take a little, but I mean, it's still a lot of stubs, especially for the beginning. So that's pretty good. Get rid of that guy and getting that guy. All right, so I got rid of both of them. They should sell really soon, and you want to get a few good players. I mean, I gotta get some replacements now since I got rid of them. I'm gonna go for players like seventy-two overall, for example. All right. You want to look for guys that are really cheap, like for example, Michael. Look at he just sold Ryan Presley for eighteen hundred stubs, which is pretty good. All right, I mean he's an eighty-one, it's pretty good. But you want to improve your team, you want to have it good throughout. You want to get cheap, cheap guys. Like for example, let's say we get oh wow, Scooter Jeanette is a free agent, but I'm pretty sure he'll sign with someone. Let's get Scooter Jeanette for twenty-nine stubs. Just go one over. I mean he's cheap. It'll be good for the team. I mean. Just try to get little upgrades like this. I mean, say if you want to, let's let's go to another guy. Who, who else is good right now? Let's see who else would sell for a lot. Okay, here, Kurt Casilli. All right, he sells for 218. All right, I'm going to purchase him for 81 stubs. All right. And then say I get the guy. The guy sells it to me for 81 stubs. All right, look at Scooter Jeanette. I just got him. All right, where is that guy? Where is he? Scooter Jeanette. 28, I bought him for 29 stubs, pretty cheap. All right, I'm not going to use him. I'm going to try to get some stubs right now, and I'm going to sell him for 67, all right? That's a 31 stub profit. I mean, it's little, it's not that high, but I mean, as you do this more often, say you spend an hour, hence 30 minutes to an hour, you're going to add up the stubs, guaranteed. I mean, this is a great way to make stubs on the marketplace without sending, uh, spending a single penny on this game because... I used to spend money on the game, but I'm like, uh-uh. I ain't spending no more money on this game because it is eating me up. I mean, it's like those Mickey Mouse mach that, that, that machine at Chuck E. Cheese, you know? Okay, here, let's go. Let's, let, let me show you another guy. All right, let's see. Who else? Who's someone really cheap? Usually the guy, let's see, let's see. Who's, who's cheap? Who's cheap right now? Oh, perfect. Tower Lines, I mean... He's not, he's not, he's not on the team right now. That's not going to really help because he's, 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 uh, his overall is not going to improve at all unless he's on a team. So just buy him for, you know, I'll put him up for, I'm going to buy him for 25 stubs. I'll sell him for 59. All right, let's see. Who's another guy? Look at, okay. Daniel Ponce de Leon. He sells for 121, which is pretty good. I'm going to purchase him for 36. I'm going to put an order for 36. Say I buy him for 36 and then... I sell them for 120. That's a big increase of stubs. I mean, I'm making a lot of profit. Keep on doing this with guys like this. Kyle Crick, for example, buy him for 34 stubs. 
and then you can sell them for 180 that's a pretty good profit I mean 180 minus the 10 percent that it takes probably you get 160 let's say that's not that bad okay good I just bought Kyle Crick for 34 stubs as you can see I put him up for 183 I get 165 I mean look at that keep on doing this and you're gonna make stubs I guarantee you guys all right I hope you got a lot of information from this video Remember to sh share this video, like this video, and subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed, and have a great rest of your day. Peace.